Okay, guys. Here is my uh, electric. <coughs> Excuse me. I put a port in the floor so I can drop all my cables out. I can drop my... Instead of having to do one for my television cable, one for maybe solar to run in, uh, and one for my uh, electric, I just decided <coughs> to go ahead and cut the hole, use a marine port, and be done with it, you know, and that way I can just wrap a rag around it, stuff in when I've got all my cable in to keep critters out. Um, this was painful just because of how tight this box is, you know, trying to get in there and work with. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, I put two 15 amp breakers in, um, even though I did use 12 gauge for my plugs. So if I did want to go to 20, I can. But uh, I just did 15. And um, if you buy this box, which is a Oh, God, what is it? It's Square D Load Center. And there's the information, which is what I did. Let It don't come with ground bar, which is all the way back. Let me see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. Right there. You see it. Back there. But honestly, it was so tight in there trying to work with them wires that uh, I just wound up wiring all my grounds together, put a cap on it, and taped it. Uh, because that ground bar was one pain. You just absolutely have no room in this thing to, you know, do anything. I mean, it is really small. As you can see, if you do this, let me try to get down here where you can see. Your white is your neutral, and this thing ain't plugged in. So your white is your neutral right there, which your service coming in would hook there. Then your power would hook in your black would hook in here this don't have a bar so I had to put a jumper across to to fight, to make this breaker live and uh, hit single pole so your black wire connects to the back of both your breakers at the bottom there's a screw and then you put your whites here your your natural uh, your neutrals there, and then your grounds should go to that box, uh, to that bar, excuse me, the bar back there. But like I said, it was just so tight trying to get them in. I just said heck on it. I wired them together, put a cap on it, and then taped the cap, and uh, that's what I did. I run one breaker to the first plug, and then I run my second breaker to the second plug so everything will plug out and in here so if I and I'm going to put my inverter let me move this around here a little bit guys I'm kind of down in this box so I'm going to put my inverter here and anything I need I'll just unplug and plug in uh, that was just simplest way to do it for me and uh, like I said, if I had this do again, but I done had the plug and I done had the cable ordered, if it hadn't have been for that, I would have just wired the, uh, cut this wired directly in right here. Uh, but, you know, I done had it, so I went ahead and did it. But if I ever have a problem with that, you know what I'll do. I'll just run it straight through. Uh, I got one plug done for the kitchen as you can see and like I said I use braided wire 
instead the Romex. And there is for my kitchen plug, but that's really all I've got in today. But that's generally how you do it. So if you uh, want any information on doing it, just leave a comment. It's really pretty simple. But uh, just know if you get that box, it's definitely tight, hard to work with. So that's it, guys. I'll talk at you later. Hope you all have a good day.